Hello everyone. Welcome to Insights into Your Being. My name is Deeksha and I'm here to share my knowledge that will help you cope up in this crucial period of your life. Preparing for your exams, do you find people coming and telling you be serious, get serious with your studies, be serious about your future? Yes. Do you think you should be serious? Yes or no? You think you should be serious? No, you shouldn't be serious. Rather than being serious, be sincere. Sincere in your studies. So, have you watched any movie lately? If I ask you the story of that movie, even if you watched it one year ago, will you be able to tell me that story? Very easily, right? And if I ask you, what have you studied in the chapter yesterday? How much of will you be able to tell me? Not much, right? Or not as fluently as you would tell me a story. So the reason why we are able to say a story easily, even if we watch the movie many days back, it's because we watched it with focus and a relaxed state of mind. So how wonderful it would be if we could study with that state of mind, right? In just one minute, if you are able to attain the state of being focused and relaxed, do you think it's going to help you at this point of time? I'll show you how to do it. Focus at a point above your eyebrows, imaginary spot, and just keep looking at it. Do not strain this part of your head just above your eye level without straining your forehead. Just look for a spot and keep looking at it. Now, while you keep looking at it, see what else you can see in the surroundings. Whatever else you can see without shifting your eyes. So now you're focusing on the spot and trying to see what else you can see, right? That's it. Now, adding to this, feel the chair you are sitting on. Feel your hands wherever they are placed. So now you are focusing on the spot and seeing what else you are able to see and feeling the chair you're sitting on. Now, adding to this, get the sense of smell of whatever fragrances are present in the air at the moment. Smell whatever you can without moving your eyes from that spot. That's it. So now you're focusing on the point, seeing what else you can see, feeling the chair you're sitting on, getting the smell of whatever is present in the air. Try to hear the sounds in the surroundings. My voice, anybody whispering near you, or any chaos or any birds chirping, whatever is there in the surroundings. So now you're focusing on the dot, seeing what you're seeing, feeling the chair you're sitting on, getting the smell, listening to the sounds. Now, feel the taste that is present on your tongue. That's it. This is the exercise that will help you bring your focus and get you a relaxed state of mind. And doing this takes just 30 seconds. Do this before you begin to study every day. And also when you're going to start writing your paper, do this 30 second exercise that will help you produce all whatever you have learned in the past. This exercise will not let other thoughts bother you. There are times where you feel stress, anxiety, fear of the future, pressure created by others around you. You may feel, how do I overcome that? You must, must, must work on overcoming these challenges. Do not take these as a part of your life. Ha, bhai, I am nervous when I write a paper, I am nervous. Hota hun. Har saal nervous hi honge. Seek advice from experts. There are scientific methods to overcome challenges these days. Please go 
and freely seek help from them and overcome your challenges free yourself from the fears from phobias from nervousness anxiety yes there are simple methods tools and exercises like these there's a lot available on youtube just search hacks brain gym exercise hacks on youtube and you'll get loads of brain gym exercises have you seen a pandit doing aarti yes this is a brain gym exercise it keeps your left and the right brain in sync the left brain is deals with logic and analysis and the right brain deals with emotion and creativity imagination and creativity and we need both emotion and logic right to balance for everything for every action so go and look for this kind of stuff stuff that empowers you also to overcome the stress anxiety fear which wherever you may be feeling it in your body sometimes we get jitters in our stomach what will we do then so there are methods to overcome that state also so if you're feeling stressed and your mind wanders you forget your studies and your mind starts वो क्या कहेंगे पता नहीं मुझे कितने मार्क्स मिलेंगे अगर मैं उससे कम लाया तो मैं काश मैं पहले पढ़ पढ़ाई शुरू की होती इट्स टू लेट अभी इतना सारा सिलेबस मैं कैसे कवर करूं मम्मा ने कहा था पढ़ाई शुरू करो एंड दिस काइंड ऑफ थॉट्स बॉदर यू राइट व्हेन यू स्टडी व्हाट हैपेंस यू लूज फोकस सो वॉट विल यू डू नाव now whenever these thoughts bother you you are just going to tap while those thoughts are running in your mind how will you do it start with me even though i am so scared i still love and accept myself even though i'm so stressed about these exams i love and accept myself even though i'm so fearful so anxious so worried even though i'm so guilty that i didn't start to study i still love and accept myself i'm so scared i'm so worried i don't know how i will fare how many marks i will get what will be the result what if uh, someone out creates me someone out shines me i want to be a number 1 what will happen have i done enough mai padhai ki hai ki nahi pata nahi kya aayega pata nahi kaise hoga pata nahi kitne marks milenge suppose somehow as if by magic i know that marks are not for real what if exams were not for real what if marks are just stepping stones to create a new future what if they are the step, stepping stones for a future for the success that is waiting for me what if i can do just that which i am in control of and i am in control of myself what if i can gain this control what if i can just focus fear and doubt are just distracting me from my path what if i know that it's just a lie what if i know my potency to create greater what if as if by magic i can just do what is the best and leave the rest and things like that this tapping points are connected to our subconscious mind which will lower down your cortisol levels cortisol is a hormone that is released in the time of anxiety and stress and too much of it creates a cloud and tapping unveils that cloud gives you clarity and focus and you go and win thank you so much do share your experience with me and trust in god pray and just surrender pray and just surrender don't worry after you pray if you're worrying you're doing god's job just pray and trust that your prayers will be answered you ask and you shall receive it knock and the door shall be opened seek and you will find trust in prayer prayer is very powerful say affirmations affirmations like i can do it all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory this is a statement by access consciousness you can google up for it on accessconsciousness.com all of life comes to me with ease joy and glory 
the moment you say this it will work like a harry potter spell works you will feel that ease and you will be able to do everything joyfully and remember once you are at ease and you are joyful and you are focused and you are relaxed there is nothing that you cannot achieve in life all the best love yourself do hit the like button if you like my video share it with others who are appearing for the exam so that they may get to hear this and benefit do not forget to subscribe my channel to stay updated with my latest videos thank you